Bispigliando and color trills. Bispigliando is a fancy French word that we use to mean color trill. Um, it's something that comes from harp technique and you'll see it often on French scores. Uh, on the saxophone we can do color trills on pretty much the whole range uh, with the exception of the lower notes because we have all the buttons pretty much closed on the lower notes. There's no room uh, to trill. You know, if you trill anything you'd be going a semitone or a tone. But from a written D, uh, just below the stave, upwards, uh, you can do a color trill on pretty much all the notes. Um, if you write basically under a color trill, the performer will try, will find a fingering. I don't think you necessarily need to specify a fingering unless you want a particular one. Maybe one reason to specify the, the trill key would be if you were pairing that maybe with a multiphonic that was supposed to be coming out of the, of the trill. Um, or if you had a really particular sound in mind. Um, otherwise, you can leave it up to the performer. I'll go three to the saxophones now and play a bispigliando through the whole register. Obviously, there's multiple uh, fingerings for some of the notes. For some, particularly the lower notes, there's only one possible fingering. Uh, but as you go higher and as you get into the altissimo, there's a bunch of different uh, fingerings possible. But I'll go through on each of the saxophones and play a bispigliando on each of the notes. helpful you can achieve a lovely 
uh, interesting texture on all the different saxophones using color trills and bass vigliando. Um, remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and comment the piece that you're working on so we can check it out.